Hey there, guys. What is going on? Sloppy here, playing some more Creativerse on the Creatinator server. And I am over here at our PvP arena that I've been working on in live streams. Link in the description if you're into such things as building. Uh, I've been working on it in live streams, been doing some stuff. I think we're going to be able to play it soon. I really feel confident that we will be able to play it soon, which I'm very excited about. Get on with some of the other people on the server and uh, try and kill each other. It'll be a blast. Speaking of trying to kill each other, check out the pathway I made. This is what I did on one of my recent live streams, this pathway. Um, am I still being chased? No. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I did a pathway. Um, you can see this is it. It's sandstone, salt rock, a little bit of adobe, some wood fence. It is all right. I don't mind it. I asked you guys last episode about colors, um, colors to build with in the Mesa, and I got a lot of great suggestions, and I noticed a lot of the blocks people recommended had a bit of a yellowish tinge, and this is a block that I have a lot of because I've been digging in the Mesa, and, um, you know, just decided to try that out. I really like it. I decided to mix it up with a little bit of salt rock, just to add a little bit of difference, you know? And uh, the adobe bricks is more just to be able to put down some fences, a little bit of guidance, uh, just add a little another pop of color. You know how it is. Anyway, I'm a big fan of it. So kind of a cool path going around our, our game area, leading all the way to our arena, which we'll get to, uh, you know, we'll be playing soon. I am fully confident on. But for today, we are going to work on what we started, well, a, a little bit ago. I'm going to go work on my teleporter room at spawn, and we're going to do some big time building. But I want to show you guys the pathway. Uh, thank you for your suggestions. They were great. And I actually did try out a few of them. And, uh, yeah, you guys were big into the yellowish tinge. So I just tried to incorporate a natural canyon block. And, yeah, over to spawn. Wait, does this actually go back to spawn? <laughs> Boy, oh boy, aren't the lighting glitches in this game super fun when you're building? <sighs> so today, I at least want to get the floor into here, and uh, hopefully a little bit more. Um, yeah, hopefully a little bit more. I'm going to put in a white strip down the center, connecting these two areas. We can add a little bit of lighting in it. I also was thinking maybe we're going to try putting in a little bit of salt rock. And I know I said that this block... Probably doesn't work in here. I think maybe I'm just a little bit... I want it to connect a little bit to upstairs um, in our train station. So I thought maybe the salt rock was sort of a nice connector block. So I'm going to just try doing sort of a trim along the outside. The only problem is it's a bit... It's a bit pink. It's a bit pink. It does add a little pop of color, but I'm afraid... Uh, you know what? I already don't like it. I already don't like it. I think it's too much. Maybe we can use it in like smaller spots, but not as a border like this. You know what might look nice though is this guy here. This guy here might look real nice on the floor. Kind of slick. Kind of slick. That's a really nice block. Yeah, okay, I can see that going around, sort of wrapping around, and then the rest of the floor is going to be interesting. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do, but I'll keep you updated. I'm just going to try stuff. This might take a while. I think I've got something figured out. Um, we did the ring of blue, now I did a ring of white, added in a little bit of lighting underneath, just to get a little bit of extra lighting. And now we've got these two sort of panels in the ground. This uh, flattened section is where you can see all of the different uh, signs. We may have to do something different with the floor there. I've been more focusing on just like finishing up all of these. You can see they've got white backgrounds. Still getting lighting glitches, but you can see they've got the white backgrounds. So I think I'm going to finish off all those, but we basically got these two panels, which uh, I think obviously we're going to use to mirror each other. I just don't know what to do with them. Yeah, that's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this should be blue. Just thinking, we've got the obsidian running between all of the pillars, is how they're connecting. So I'm thinking maybe 
we can run it between these ones as well. I don't know if that'll be too much blue, but I guess we can see. Oop, hello. Hello. Okay, let's... Uh... Yeah, it's not... Uh... Terrible. It's not terrible. <clears throat> I think... I don't want to use too much obsidian. I feel like it's such a dominant coloring that I'm trying not to use it too much. But I'm also trying not to use too much limestone. So it's a weird power struggle between these two blocks in this room. Ah, uh, It's okay. It's a little bit bold. But I think if we do quite a bit here, it could sort of balance out. But anyway, yeah, you can see I'm sort of trying to close off all of these sides. I want the center roof to be sort of separated from all those, so I'm going to try and close off the exterior. I'm going to try and finish all these. These ones are all done. I'm going to try and close off and finish all of these, and uh, that way we sort of have a clean palette in the center of the room. I'd also like to finish this back wall today, so that basically next time all we have to work on is the ceiling. That would be kind of nice. Then we can finish this project, which will be lovely. But yeah, okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish the outside, try and connect a roof up, and uh, we'll go from there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, all of the sides are done. You can see we've got a little ceiling trim in as well. Just a nice little touch. So the exterior for all of these is done. You can see that's where that's going to go. And uh, I talked about doing a little pixel art behind it. I don't think we're going to do that. Um, I experimented with it. We basically had either a 5x3 or a 3x3 palette to put a little picture of what was, you know, through the teleporter. It just doesn't work. I think 3x3 in a game like this, um, you're not going to be able to represent a huge amount in that area, which is fine. Which is fine. Um, so, yeah, I think, obviously, the sign's quite enough. We could maybe put a sprite sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. We could use the sprites, which, if you guys haven't seen, are just so cool. You can basically... Um, put little images of items or mobs in the game now. I did a tutorial on my channel if you want to check that out. Shameless plug. Um, but yeah, you can put like basically little emojis in the game, which is pretty neat. Like he had to have spawned there, right? Do they spawn on limestone walls? Like he had to have spawned there. There's no way you could just walk up. Uh, but yeah, so I think through this, uh, this little area right here, back up to the top of the train station. Right now I realized I don't have a way out. Um, there's no way to get back up to the top of the train station. So I was thinking the stairs from the train station, um, we're gonna have a little staircase down, I think are gonna come in and out of right here. So picture uh, Harry Potter. You walk into the wall. Well, no, I'm not gonna, oh, I guess I could do a sensor. We could do a platform nine and three quarters thing. Let me know if that would be cool and just have a two teleporters here. Well, but then nobody would, I mean, what if they didn't know? It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, we're going to put two teleporters there that'll be in and out in, within the station. This is going to be, I guess, anyone could hook up these teleporters if you want to get around spawn. But these uh, these teleporters over here, I guess, are going to be sort of a different entrance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to do some sort of drop where you fall in the middle so you can see everything. But I kind of like the idea of having to sort of walk down and, like, the names... I mean, I don't love that they just pop up, but it's not terrible. Look at that. You, sir, just trapped yourself in a small room. <laughs> Stone mining cell. Wow, what a garbage, what a garbage thing. I don't even want any of these. I'll take those. I'll take the lost journal. I don't want this stone mining cell. You know what? I can't bring myself to not pick it up. Um, but yeah, okay. So, there's a couple things we could do next. I am running a little low on time. This is Thursday when I'm recording this. And this, uh, it all takes time to build something, you know, this large. I think I kind of want to get a back wall. I have a few different ideas of what we could do with that. The other thing I would like to do is get the staircase down set. But, yeah, let's work on this back wall first. Just because then I think if we have all the exterior or interior walls sort of done, then I think the roof and the ceiling, we can really see how they tie in, which could be nice. But yeah, all of these are done, so imagine each of those with a teleporter and a sign. Um, obviously, I'll try and make the sign so that it doesn't do this, um, where it splits words. It'll be more like this, which I think will be nice. Yeah, okay. Mm, yeah. 
it's I, I I find these build episodes where it's a really big build kind of awkward because I'm not sure exactly what to say. Like I kind of just give updates, but look back at uh, the start of this build, we're definitely coming a long way. But yeah, let's get this other wall done. Well, the Lions play. Go Detroit. All right, let's do this whole journey. I'm out of limestone, which could become an issue. I think it's already an issue, but maybe that's a sign I should use less limestone in this build. Let me know what you guys think when you see it. We're going to take this journey together because why not? Really, why not? Spend some time together in a beautiful loading screen where I can ask you to please leave a like on the video. It helps out, apparently. YouTube keeps telling me that it really helps the channel. I just appreciate it. I like thumbs up, you know? I'm a thumbs up kind of guy. Uh, anyway, complete this mountain hideouts. Um, really. um, nobody saw anything, though. Look at that. It's just a mountain. Everyone relax. Nothing to see there. Um, but yeah, let's go into the thing. I did hook up uh, the teleporters a little bit. So uh, normally the way people get to spawn is by going to Sidon the Pink's Touchstone. It's right in the middle of the castle. So we're going to have a teleporter right next to that that brings you to here so you can quickly get around spawn. So right now, uh, that's almost completely blocked off, which actually we can fix this because it's so ugly. Um, yeah, no more hole in the ground. Beautiful. So yeah, there'll be a staircase here. We're going to do it with the iron stairs. I think we can do a nice job of this. Boom, teleporter. And uh, all of a sudden, you are down here in the thing. How plain are those walls? Very, very, very plain those walls are. Because I don't know what to do with them. We definitely need something. I was thinking maybe we could do like a fountain. Like we could do sort of mirrored fountains into this area. Do a little uh, fountain thing. I don't know. I'm going to need your guys' help. Please let me know what I should do with these walls. I think a fountain could look quite nice. But I'm also thinking it might look a little cheesy. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I was also thinking, I mean, it's just quite a large flat wall. Maybe we could do some sort of... Like, maybe we could do the transit map so you can see where people are. But I was thinking maybe of putting LEDs... Am I just missing blocks right here? Wow. Noob level. Noob level exceeded, bro. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of putting LEDs behind the teleporters in each of these. Uh, so there'll be two LEDs behind the teleporter that'll be lit up if somebody's at that... In range of that station. I think is how I'm going to show if there's people in that area. I'm hoping sensors aren't too buggy. Um, I think we'll be okay. But yeah, I was thinking two LEDs behind uh, the teleporter. And then you can see if somebody's in range of where that teleporter is. Which could be kind of neat. I think it would never really be on unless somebody was just hanging out in the subway station. But that's cool. Yeah, this place is definitely coming along. We've got a lot done today. I know it doesn't... Well, it kind of looks like a lot. The entire outside is more or less done. So now we just have the ceiling and these two panels on the floor. Which is why I'm asking for help. Because I don't quite know what I want to do with them. So I would love your guys' suggestion. We've got two panels. Probably some sort of something that's going to be mirrored. Um, we've also got these walls. Which I'm thinking fountain. But... Maybe you guys have something kind of cool and unique we can do with these walls. Also got a ceiling, which will be vaulted a little bit. Um, we can't go too high, so let's go. We're basically in the center here. How high? Okay, so we have... What is that? Five blocks? Four blocks? Before uh, we have to end that. So that's basically how high we can go. So it's not going to be too vaulted, but it should be pretty good. Anyway, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, come back next time where we are going to continue work on this. Ciao. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving to all the American people. All right. Bye.